Well, good morning, tubers. It is Saturday morning, and it's 70 something or other today. So far, it's like, I don't know, 8 o'clock. Heat, the temp's supposed to get to 107 today. Oh, yeah, got the old dogs out here. Yeah. Oh, wild trash man, we got it. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. What problem y'all say? Well, <laughs> we're gonna start here. And uh, y'all know I got that truck, that one, and that one. Well, there's three of them right there in a row. And the uh, problem for what trash man's coming into is oh, yeah, problem. We're running out of room. Yeah. We got the old mud run truck up in here. We got old blue here. And driveway just perked near packed. Oh yeah. Been working on it off and on. Then we got the wife Grand Dam. Yeah, which is like a 1997 Grand Dam. It has the 3800 series motor V6 and <laughs> Really, the car is a running son of a buck, but I always hated the tires on this car, them low profile tires, damn thing, and it set so low, it was always uncomfortable to drive and everything, and didn't even ride in it. Uh, good old cars they are, and it really flies out on the highway, but they have their problems. Windshield wiper on the passenger side broke, the linkage broke on it, and and you know, just little things. And plus it doesn't do worth a damn in snow with them low profile tires on it and yeah. So uh yeah today the wife's gonna clean this one out because we traded it in. Oh yeah. Not much of a car, but be a good car for a kid or something because it starts, runs, dries just fine. AC works on high only. <laughs> None of the other fittings on it work. Uh, yeah, and then we got my old work truck, trailer pulling truck here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, driveway is certainly getting full. And let's skip over a few vehicles. Mm -hmm. Neighbor and his dog. Damn thing keeps getting out on him. We had to go chase it yesterday and then we had to leave to go to the bank. Couldn't help him find it. And we got the wife's car, or the daughter's car, old car here. Yeah. And then we got the old happy hooker. And then we got the old M882 truck here. Which, no, it hasn't been moved, and I don't even, haven't even started it in, I don't know, three weeks? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the driveway smells like damn pickles. Because <laughs> a YouTuber told me to spray white vinegar on all this damn grass, and I was doing so yesterday. <laughs> and old Travis, you know, with blue collar. He stops by, he goes, God damn, smells like somebody was douching out here. You know Travis. <laughs> Anyhow, then I got, oh, look at here. We got a Chevy 1500 truck sitting in the driveway too. Good God. Maybe a K.E. Robinson. Oh yeah, it looks just about like his truck, not a fancy hood. And oh yeah, I got the wrong kind of license plate, 19 County. Oh. Wonder whose truck this is. Hmm. All I know is there is not one empty spot in this driveway. Well, yeah, that means that the poor white trash man, we got to thin down the herd. Because, yeah, I got a few clunkers coming in. And, uh, yeah, I need the room. <laughs> hmm. Wonder whose truck this is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Chevy. Oh wait, it's missing the bow tie. Huh. 
I ought to go get one of my YouTube stickers and put it on this thing. It look good with the YouTube sticker on it. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Can't see nothing in there. Well, of course not. Anyhow, yeah. And then we got this one here. Well, after I moved one, two, three, three vehicles, yeah. Now I can get inside my garage. Well, we got a nice empty spot here, and uh, uh oh, what do we got here? We got oil, oil filter, air filter, and a specialty oil filter wrench. Yeah, new tool. Oh, yeah, this one spreads, and then when you tighten it, it tightens it. Yeah, you guys know the kind. Anyhow, what are we pulling in here? Well, I guess it's time to do the debut on the uh, wife's car. Oh, and here comes the wife with her new ride. What's this, a Chevy? Oh well. Tubers, what we have here is oh, yeah, oh, a trash man. Yeah, I'm not dead set against Chevys, you know, Chevys make good damn motors, and uh, yeah, got this vehicle, it's a 05 Chevy Trail Blazer, and we picked her up for a good price. It has 85,000 actual miles, and it has the 4.2. Uh, liter in line six cylinder, and uh, yeah, I um, brought it in the shop because yeah, I'm gonna do a little maintenance on it. Uh, like I'm, it starts fine, but I'm gonna put a new battery in it because it probably still has the factory one, and I'm gonna do a oil change on it. And there's a damn big old bee flying around, and yeah. Anyhow, this is it. And it is four by four. And oh yeah, the wife she fell in love with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, smells like new car just about still. Anyhow, yeah, we're gonna that's what all this is for. Do an oil change and air filter change on it. Awful small filter for the old spot here. I guess that's where the air filter goes. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Won't we? And from Kevin Robinson's videos, we now know how to take the battery out, replace it, and we also know how to change the oil. But, oh, guess what, Kevin? Oh, yeah, full wild trash man. Oh yeah, we're doing it in the shop. I ain't got the lights on because it only makes it hotter. And oh, look at there. Nice concrete floor. I can roll in there with my creeper and roll out. Oh, hell yeah. Bet you wish you could do that, huh, Mr. Robinson? Oh yeah. Anyhow, stop yakking and time to get busy on it. Okay, we're on changing the oil on this 4.2 and uh, yeah it's kind of a pain in the you know what but yeah the reason I turned the camera on while I was doing this is because I was giving K.E. Robinson a hard time for getting all oily telling him how he got into his job well guess what I see how he got all oily, oily now because, man, as soon as you let that filter out, it just pours down your damn arm before you can get it out of that little cubby hole that it's in. Yeah. Goddamn covered man oil. Oh. Well, anyway, back at it. Make the wife happy. Well, we got the oil all changed. There's the oil. Yeah, we have to reduce the changing. And I changed the air filter. Here it is, and yeah, as you guys can see, all the dirt coming out of it, yeah, has to do, 
And now I'm putting a new battery in it. As you can see, it's never been taken out. This is probably the factory battery. Six year battery. Yeah. Last uh, six, seven years, so hey. Yeah. Anyhow, put the old new battery in her and we'll be good to go. Which is uh right there. Got a nice interstate battery for. Her. The battery wasn't bad in it, but uh, yeah, I figured it was probably still the factory one, so I wanted to replace it. Well, slowly but surely, we're knocking her away, and I'll tell you here pretty soon what a lot trash man does with his new door. Well, tubers, a lot trash man here, and uh, I told you I'd show y'all what I do with the old oil that I took out of that trailblazer. Well, I ain't gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. Right over there, that's, yeah, an abandoned bankruptcy, bank repossession house. Anyway, as you can tell, they don't tend to the yard. So, this is what the poor white trash man does. We take this here oil. trash man does with his old oil. Oh yeah. Make it to use, you know. Environmentally safe. Ah, hell with that. Anyway, all done cleaning the trailblazer and yep, it's not here. You know, wife's off running around somewhere with it. Anyhow, now we're gonna clean the garage and that blue truck's going in here. And that one over there, the M882 is going in here. And we're going to get some trucks fixed. Oops, we got to put that back in. Anyway, oh, I've got a nice mirror hanging over there. Well, wife's grand down here, and, uh, you yeah. know, oops, better call it. Radio. Yeah, I hate it because the radio controls are on the steering wheel. Yeah, and you know, like I said, this good old car, it has like uh, 333,365 miles. And uh, yeah, the interior is not so great, but she's a runner. <laughs> yeah. Me, never have liked this car from the day one she got it. Uh, since we've had it, we had the AC worked on once, and uh, upper intake was leaking once, and uh, put new tires on it and new battery in it. Of course, we had a uh, blue collar do all the work, you know, because, uh, yeah. And, yeah, the service engine light stays on all the time. Yeah, it's just an old car. Anyway, I figure, heck, since we used it for trade in, and why she's driving a new car, which I'll show you guys a video of it, this car got half a tank of gas and good working AC. Of course, it's stuck on high only, so I figure, why not? Poor wild trash man might as well drive in some luxury. 